Hi, I'm Daryl Johnson, and I'm a support engineer for Active Roles. In this how-to video, we will cover how to install and configure the Active Roles reporting components. The topics covered in this video are the data collector, which we will show how to install, then later how to configure, and the report pack, which contains the actual reports that the collector will gather data for. The report pack needs to be initially deployed to the SQL Server Report Server, or SSRS. Please note, for this how-to video, we will be using SQL Server 2012 reporting services with a default configuration for the web service URL, which is the web server name slash report server, and the default report server manager URL, which is, again, the SSRS server name slash reports. We will not cover installing, configuring SQL reporting services. For more information on installing and configuring the SQL reporting services, please refer to the Microsoft support site. The first thing to check for when installing the reporting will be to make sure the SQL Server report server is set up and, and accessible. If you use the defaults, you should be able to put the URL in the browser window and access the reporting server by just putting the uh, report server name and then reports, you should bring up a page uh, similar to this one. Once you have SQL report server installed and configured with the defaults, you will be able to install the reporting with for ARS. So for this install, we've mounted the active roles ISO and we'll navigate to the solutions folder and then in the solutions folder we will find collector and report pack we'll go ahead and open that up and then install the uh, MSI located there so as it opens up we'll just click through next accept the license agreement uh, this is a default location which can be changed if you wish to we'll click next and install fairly quick install. Go ahead and finish that. Now that the collector and reports is installed, we'll go ahead and open up the active roles collector and report pack there. Next step we want to do is to deploy reports to the report server. So we'll go ahead and click next. We'll go ahead and put in our report server URL. And then the default is report server. We'll go ahead and click next. We'll go ahead and put in the collector database. We're going to use collector 7.2 on our SQL server. Go ahead and click next. This step will go out and publish the reports that will be used to collect data into that you'll be able to report on certain uh, features and active roles. Um, this is a fairly quick install on publishing the reports. Once that is done, we're going to go in and actually run the collector. What the collector does will be to gather data on the network, on the um, active roles environment and then you'll be able to report on that. So once this is finished, we'll click on finish, and that is done. So now we'll go back into active roles, collector and report pack. This time we'll select collect data from the network. This will collect data and events from computers running Active Roles Administration Service and store the collected information in a SQL Server database to make the information available for reporting. So we'll go ahead and click Next to start the collector database. Um, we'll select our database. If you don't have it already specified, you can go in and either create a new collector database or use an existing one. If this is a uh, new reporting, a new install, you will want to create a database. Specify your SQL Server, specify the database name. In this case, it's Collector72. Um, we'll use Windows Authentication. That's what our SQL Server is set up to accept. 
And we'll go ahead and click OK. We're going to have to designate the active role service, which is basically the active role server that is running the active role service. We're going to log on as a current user because we're logged on as the active role service account. You'll also want to review the documentation to make sure uh, the permissions are set up correctly. One permission you will need for this, if you're creating a database, is create database permission and DBO. So next we'll click through, we'll be able to select data collection tasks, Active Directory, which collects information about users, groups, computers, OUs, and domains from AD. Policy compliance information, which is collect data from directory objects with policy defined by active roles. These are policies that are actually in um, active roles like uh, deprovision policy, um, undo deprovisioning policy, policies like that. The next one is active roles event log, which is a active roles service event log um, which you can view in active roles uh, in the uh, event viewer. And that information is also pulled in. So we'll select all three of this because we want to get as much information as we can here. We'll go ahead and click Next. The data to collect, you can collect access templates, information on policy objects, manage units, and script modules. We'll leave all of those selected. Click Next. Next, if you have multiple domains, in this environment, we have a parent domain and then a child domain, so we'll want to collect information on both. So we'll click Next. Here we can run this now, or we can create a schedule to have this run on a scheduled basis. We want to run it now, so we'll go ahead and select Now, click Next. Once the operation has completed, which is the collector, We'll go ahead and click on finish. So now we should be able to view the reports. In order to view the reports, we'll go open up our browser. We'll navigate to the URL using our SQL Server report server name and then reports. And then we should see a folder called active roles. Go ahead and click on that. And then we should see a folder called 7.2. Go ahead and click on that. And then we should see some report folders here. Um, we'll go ahead and test this by going into Active Directory Assessment and then Domains. We'll try and uh, create a domain summary report. So we'll click on that report. It's going to load. You should see our domain information. So we, since we have two domains, we can uh, see information on both. Uh, this is dev domain and then the DJ DOM domain underneath. So to make it a little bit more convenient, you can also create a shortcut to your reports, which we'll do here. We'll go back to this URL here. We'll select that, copy that, and then we'll create a shortcut on the desktop. Just go new shortcut. We'll pop our URL in there. We'll go next. We're going to name it Active Roles Reports. Click Finish. So now we have an icon. Um, what I like to do is go in and just change the icon and select uh, a different icon there. So now we have an icon for Active Roles Report. So on our desktop, we can just click that and go directly to our reports in 7.2 and uh, go into different areas that we need to. We go group membership by user. Here's another one we'll try. Okay, it looks like that report ran okay. So that is how to install and run Collector on the Active Roles reports. Thank you. To learn more about Active Roles, please visit support.oneidentity.com.